today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Funko Pop Marvel Ant-Man number 85 Ant-Man Vinyl Bobble Head. This actually was just released, not just released, but Spot just picked it up, uh, to commemorate, of course, the upcoming release of Ant-Man. And I'm extremely excited to see Ant-Man. Paul Rudd, I think, is going to do a fantastic job. And uh, we've got ourselves, as with every other Marvel property, Funko releases a vinyl bobble head depicting the pint-sized character. Down below, whoops, down below, try not to drop the box. Down below we have a picture of Ant-Man. I love this super stylized look of Ant-Man. Equally so, on the side, there is what he looks like. Number 85. And on the back, only two figures really from the Ant-Man series. Number 85 is Ant-Man. Number 86 is Yellow Jacket, another figure I'd like to pick up. Flip around on the bottom, www.funko.com is your destination if you want to check out other vinyl pieces. They also are doing figures now. They're doing plush. Funko is owning it for collectibles. Also go to www.facebook.com forward slash original Funko and uh, Twitter at original Funko as well. Spot's going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Funko Pop Marvel Ant-Man number 85, Ant-Man. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Super impressed immediately when we get Ant-Man out of packaging. He has a little more movability in his head than some of the other bobble heads. And I don't know, maybe just due to the size of the cavity inside his head, allows for a little bit more movement than what I used to, well, I'm used to seeing from a vinyl bobble head. Yes, in fact, he does still bobble the head at, you know, yes, no answers. Maybe answers might be a little bit harder for him to accomplish. Really like the look of this piece. He does have the black eyes that you would come to find with other vinyl pop figures, although they put ruby lenses over top, which is a nice touch. I like that that's translucent and that you can see his eyes behind it. He's kind of got that, again, that mask, gas mask. It doesn't really, it's not really so much a gas mask, but it's kind of got that cybernetic mask. Of course, the rest of his costume, very cybernetic. I don't want to keep using the word cybernetic, but it's a very... It, mechanical, thank you, mechanical helmet and uh, suit. The suit uh, coloring as a whole is just silver. It's got black and it's also got red. All nice choices for design. I'm really loving the design as a whole of Ant-Man. I'm looking forward to getting, hopefully Hot Toys will be producing an Ant-Man. Hopefully, uh, you know, Diamond Select will be doing, Diamond Select is gonna be doing a, an Ant-Man figure, so, it's going to be a lot of cool merchandise coming out when Ant-Man is finally released. In the way of articulation, now granted he doesn't have any other than the what we've already discussed. The bobblehead does give you some bit of posability, but it's not something that you really can lock in place. And I wouldn't really advise twisting the head too much in case, you, again, you damage the spring. As for the goes for the rest of his body, the rest of his body is just stacked and you can't really do anything with it. But that's on par with what you would see with other Funko Pop figures. As a whole, really loving this. It's probably one of my new favorite Funko Pop vinyl figures. The fact that he's also got a bobblehead, I could take or leave, but at the end of the day, it's a fantastic looking Funko Pop figure. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Funko Pop vinyl figures. We're having a look today at Ant-Man, the vinyl bobblehead. See, yes, he agrees. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's gonna have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.